Crusader's perspective. You open the box. We came. Lord Fader coming back at you with another video, Lord Fader's perspective. So welcome to the show. Today I've got another review of the Whatever Podcast, man, and I just have a question. Does the modern Western woman even understand what Christianity is? Do they understand what witchcraft is? I have a young lady uh, that Andrew Wilson is debating against right here, and to me, she seems to have some witch vibes. You start getting all that, uh, you'll see how she starts talking when she starts off. To me, it was giving off a witchcraft vibe. So without further ado, let's go ahead on and get in it. There is an understanding that feminine essence beings are very sensitive. Feminine essence. We need a little bit of extra coddling. We need a little extra protection. We're physically more weak. So, so what's the exchange for that? What's the what? What's the exchange? If the exchange is that you're a little bit weaker and you need a little bit more coddling and you need a little bit more society to kiss your ass, what? hang on, need... stop. Stop. What's Let the finish. exchange? What's the exchange to men? What do we get? You get pussy. Oh, I see. The only thing that you can offer us is the thing that you, that we also can offer back to you, right? Which is, I guess. I, so I have the, toys. The I answer, mean, you guys so, aren't doing that so well. The thing is, all right right here i was watching if though for those of you who remember who patrice o'neill is great comic by the way and probably the godfather of the red pill he had this uh comedy skit to where he uh asked women hey what is it if you didn't have a vagina how would you be able to keep your man and <laughs> every other way they mentioned it involves some kind of hole. And at the end of it, he said, so you reduce yourself to a series of holes. That's what I'm getting right here, man. Is this how women really see this? Is the only value you can really think of that you bring to a relationship. If so, sad. Is your whole value structure, Crazy. everything within your values revolves to, I deserve to have my ass kissed because I have a I make the babies. You don't make the babies. How did that? Uh, how did we yes get the does. math wrong? We don't need you. Well, yeah. yes, I mean, all by herself, she makes babies. But we actually don't. And yes, we do. Well, who invented? I'm sorry. Who invented sperm. the technology for you to be able to do that? Who needs sperm? <laughs> I guess what we yeah. could have invented the do technology. It, uh, we if could have, but you but didn't. didn't. So Listen, this is not. This is not to say that men yeah. don't have their role. It's simply to say we actually have the bodies that produce the babies. And so does every creature upon the earth. Crickets have the body to produce their offspring. Don't, don't single cell organisms do the same thing? It's not very special in the context of relationships and dealing with you guys, but let's let Andrew cook. Then what are you gonna do when there's artificial wombs? We're obviously wombs? of a higher value. What do you do value? when there's artificial wombs? Higher value. What about artificial wombs? We shouldn't what are you have artificial wombs. That is usurping the power of a woman. And That's it's making right. us it's not as valuable. It's usurping the power of a woman. So, so then, what do men get then from women? What do men get then from women if we have artificial wombs and we no longer need your womb? You don't what do you want give us women? Then? What, you guys would all kill yourselves within three days of not having women here. The only reason you are here oh. is to impress us, to protect us, to f*** us right, to get our adoration, uh -huh. to have us feel Crazy. like we're worshiping you and we're sucking mm -hmm. your I mean, there's an energy exchange here that Super works Super weird. This lady is not only vulgar, but she's really entitled and she's entitled because she is a pretty lady. And uh, you know, I gotta go back to the men on this one, man. You guys are sipping so hard for this mediocre lady right here, man, that look at the self uh, congratulatory way she speaks of herself. You guys are here to do this for us, to do that for us. Uh, what is it that you're here besides having children that you do for us? Why would we want to spend any time with you? anybody ever heard of Japan? Japan is inventing robots that look like women, uh, anime women, I might add. So, I mean, if you don't provide anything other than a sex robot, then why should we value you the way that we do? This is why you have passport bros. And I got to tell you something about the passport bros. It's over with, man.
There ain't nowhere you can go now to get a woman whose mind is not addled the way this lady's mind is. But let's continue. There was a great episode that happened, I, I believe it was Survivor, where men and women were divided up into groups and the men were sent to an island to survive and the women were sent to an island to survive. Now, Kevin Samuels yeah, used to mention this. Interestingly enough, the men lasted a lot longer than three days without the women. Of In course. fact, they were thriving. They of were course. killing everything that, hang on, stop. They were killing everything that they could possibly find. They were eating like kings. They rediscovered fire with nothing but their own minds. While the women were freezing to death, mm -hmm. they uh, literally gave up within just a couple of days and begged the men to go to their campfire. But we wouldn't last three days without women. I'm, Is that right? I'm simply saying if you guys literally knew that every woman dropped dead and she was not there, you're talking about a simulation where they know at the end of this they're going to go home to their girlfriend, they're going to go home to their mom, their aunt, their daughter, and the women are still there. Definition of listening to respond. As you can see, every time he got on a point that she couldn't defend, she went to interrupt. Nine times out of 10, she probably gets to interrupt because men just let her talk because in the end, we just want to smash. We don't really care what you're saying. So all of these things that we allow, this is what we have to deal with. We're creating the monsters that we deal with. I'm saying if all the women were just dropped dead, yeah. what are you guys gonna do? That would be the same problem Build a new one. have in reverse yeah. without the infrastructure exactly. built by but, men. But my the human, point human is, society. we actually do need All you our... do, uh, I listen to everything you say, but then when I try to respond, you cut right in. Okay. So just Because she don't want you to make your point, bro. Let me get bro. my point in, too. If the situation was reversed, if men were gone, who would maintain the infrastructure? Well, Go ahead and lie to me and say women <laughs> No, no, lie. no. Don't get me wrong. I am not saying that each man is just null and void. I'm simply saying that women need to have an extra layer of reverence and protection and respect from men. Erroneous. That we do don't we get? get. Erroneous. What we do don't then, get it. In exchange, what do men get? See, now we're coming into the witchcraft thing, the worship, you know, the, the Diana, the goddess worship that we're getting into. You know, that is the very emotion that the serpent appealed to in the garden. Power. Ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. You got to understand, Adam was in that garden a long time. Could have been centuries since he was immortal. Never thought about touching the tree of life. I don't care who came to him and said, hey, let's do this and let's do that. I don't know how long the woman had been around. Could have been centuries, but eventually her vanity and her entitlement and her need to have power that she should not even want is the reason why we're in the situation that we're in right now. If that's a true story, I believe it. If it's not a true story, it's a hell of an allegory for what's going on in the nature of women. Men get our presence. Right, that's it. You have nothing. So what you're saying to me, here's, here's you're how- You're saying there's here's what nothing? We're doing. Here's what we're doing Andrew to Cook. go around and around and around. You say women deserve these extra privileges from men. Okay, that's fair. But when I ask what are women giving them, they just, me. It's like, well, Listen, now you understand why. I the, feel like it's a given that you know what a, you know what a woman offers. Let them finish. I, don't, I don't know let why it's finish. impossible for you to let me finish a sentence. But now, so what you're saying is, is that the only thing you bring to the table is your and no. so all of, hang on, all a man ever has to do is reject your vagina because it's literally the only thing of value you have. Bingo. No, I said it's the most valuable thing we have. We have right. lots of other points of value. That's just Name the some. most, hence why many women choose to be celibate. They choose to wait for their husbands because we inherently know this is our most prized possession. Appeal to the our group. Bodies. These other but women are not with you, girl. It, a lot of look at a lot of us it's because this is they looking at her like you vessel. stupid you're not entering this until we're at a certain point you have proven yourself to me i know you're going to be a good father etc a woman doesn't me. get to envelop her body around my dick until you've done xyz and er, er, er. <laughs> but you see, i'm giving a, you the gift of soul. allowing you to envelop my what what's really amazing here and a good man actually, that is how i feel about him to be honest i love being yeah i love you've actually being demonstrated that for us that, in, or, that the best way for men to remove your power over them is for them to just not be interested in your yeah. 
Yeah, and that's fine. I, I, that's it. Obviously. That's the only thing. What else do you bring to the table besides two hundred dollars? I just, I just want to clarify that you think that the only value that women bring to the table is their. No, now, hang again. On. Stick hang to on. the if logic, that, bro. Hang on, hang on. Let me let finish the finish. question. If that's not true, then what other value are you bringing to the table? Let me see. We are five minutes and 57 seconds into this video. She hasn't come up with one other value that she brings to the table other than her JJ. That's quite telling. Soul, a good cooked meal. I mean, a clean house raising kids, figuring out social issues to try to find solutions to things. I mean, I'm masterminding men with men. Men are better at all those things. Thank you. Okay, well then, those men don't need to come to me because they have it yes. figured out with each other. So, so for men who can cook the their own food, which is easy as shit, for men who right, can uh, clean their Somebody own homes, you a which by the way is easy as can be. Day. Sex I mean, again, on, it's, it's, it's all she has. Work is it's all she is. incredibly valuable. And it comes yeah, well, in, what, in what regard? Other than your, what are you bringing to the table? I keep on asking you this. You're like, well, cooking and cleaning, feminine all essence. things men can do I'm for themselves. I'm telling you, so there's a, hang there's on, a, there's hang a feminine on, essence. Hang on, hang on. How much is feminine essence going for on the street right now? How much can you realistically walk out there on the street and buy a shot of ass? I mean, how valuable is it really? Almost done. Cooking, cleaning, all of this, these are all things that men can nurturing, do for themselves. Hey, nurturing. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. If they are things that men can do for themselves, well, can you name something you're uniquely going to bring to the table a man can't do for themselves? She can't do that, bro. I can have a baby for him. He can't have a baby for himself. I mean, so I guess he could use an again, artificial womb. Once again, you'll be JJ. If, there's an, if, there's if you want to go womb, that way, I just think we on, have a human design that answer. works a certain way. Go ahead, Andrew. So if there's an artificial womb, there's no, there's nothing then. You could be his number one fan, lift him up. Oh. Help her out, girl. Give her Amen, something. Amen, sis. I mean, if you want to go with that, that you guys don't need women, fine, have fun. I do have but, to move oh. things along here. I do have to move things along unless you have I a I just think thing. it's incredible that ultimately the only thing you think you bring to the yeah. table is a uterus. And the thing is, so so I think that my position, that the, I think that the Christ know. Christian position is actually far better here comes you know, the really witchcraft. Funny. The Christian position yeah, of create yeah, what, what did God make people? Why are you yelling? Yeah. I, 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 you yeah. don't want to hear the answer, you right? To, you, look, the thing is, I trash feminists more than anybody on planet Earth. I mean, I'm probably one of the best at it. But the thing that's interesting is that I believe that women have an actual ontology and a nature and that they have value beyond just that of their vagina and giving you the baby. Mm -hmm. I think that they that's actually what I just have said. an Hey, yeah, stop. Lady, stop. Dude. Just calm down and listen. If you listen, right, then you'll be able to, to craft way better responses. So the thing is, is that there's an ontological nature of, of men and women. There's a nature to them. And I think that the nature of women in and of itself is valuable, not just because they have a, I think women are valuable without a uterus. I think women are valuable even if they're not sleeping. That is exactly with, what stop, I said. I called it feminine essence. Even if they're essence. not sleeping, can't help yourself. You just can't help it. Even if they're not sleeping with tons <laughs> because of men, you're I still the think that they can thing, be valuable. They're not saying the same thing. Men don't know what feminine essence is, but we know what femininity means. Be feminine. This argumentative stance that you have is not feminine. This wanting to dominate the conversation, it's not feminine. You don't need to do that. If you say it, you're right. And if I say it in my way, I'm wrong. It's the exact you same thing. You didn't say shit. But they're you gotta not. stop interrupting. Once again, and, and I don't really think this Brian dude is all that good at doing this. This is why he has Andrew on most of these remotes because he's got these women in here and he can't appeal to their logic most of the damn time. And I feel that, but, but he's exactly right on this. They can't stop interrupting because of the power dynamic. They want to be seen as equals in the power structure. And women have just as much power than men, but it's not the same kind of power. But they'll explain that. You can agree, yeah. disagree, but you got to let him finish. He lets you. Yeah, and speak. I promise I'll let you finish. I promise I'll let you finish. But I'm saying if there's an underlying ontology to both, and I think women without a uterus can still be highly. Imagine valuable her in a society. relationship, I think man. That women who don't sleep with men can be highly valuable to society. I don't see these 
as the ontology basis for the only reason that women are valuable. And yet, when I ask you what makes you valuable to a man, the only two things that you can give me are those. And so absent those things, you're saying that other women can't really be. That's not what I'm saying. I said it is. the feminine essence. What does that mean? Whatever, however you worded it. I'm saying femininity in and of itself. Now we're coming to it. Women embody, whether we're reproducing, reproducing or we're not. When I say, I'm saying the, the, the generated energetic state. The feminine mm -hmm. essence, our feminine energy. Where she learn that from? That femininity is tied up with promiscuity. I never said That's that. That's insanity. I never said it was. Then why are you only referencing your being feminine? I'm simply saying that is the physical embodiment that represents the highest level, the highest expression. No, motherhood. So a woman's VJ is her highest expression. That's the most sexist thing I think I've ever heard, man. And this is coming from a woman. And this is how feminine and feminism has twisted our young ladies, man. I mean, you out here doing everything except what you're supposed to be. You don't want a lot of men. You just want one man, but you need that man to be a winner. So you out here giving yourself and it, it takes you down points. Every time you get with a guy, give him everything and then go to the next guy. And you're not giving the next guy anything that you gave the previous guy. Yet you say, well, we shouldn't date women, uh, women without a great amount of experience. What, what experience? You're just using yourself. To quote Ke Kevin Samuels, what in the world gains value with time and use? And women refuse to understand this because they got life on easy mode. They can still get things and go through life because they got this for JJ. And I'm blaming that on you fellas. I ain't blaming that on the women. They're gonna do what we let them do. We're gonna do what they let us do. That's why only 20% of the men is having sex with 80% of the women. Of my, okay, Amen. but that's how I became a mother through my vagina. And I became well, impregnated by a penis a getting inserted too. into my vagina. Ah, she went to uh, fifth grade biology. And then coming out and then it mixing oh, with okay. my egg okay well that's can the, be a what mother, about you those can be a mother even if you don't bear this is child, sad man mother, right if you have your feminine essence right you're nurturing keep trying to peel to the rest of them women they're looking at you like you're stupid that, yeah well, that gives I, me I'm hope for the I majority of women i'm sorry because even they hear this bs referring to the feminine essence the feminine once nature. again what does that mean that is our tendency to nurture our tendency to be able to make sacrifices our tendency to submit to a man when it, when it that that i don't hear do. submission yeah i, I don't hear sacrifice man, I, I, no you've been saying the opposite this listen entire time. i submit the opposite to the, men. the whole time thank I you submit to the men who earn that's that coming from a woman by the way life. oh submission is earned it is no, well, I submit submission. to God first, and then as wait, men step up. Wait, 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 stop. Skirt, you submit to who? Stop, 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 stop. We're going to find out here shortly. Uh, she ain't exactly talking about the God that we all are thinking of. You submit to God, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Aren't, don't you do Yeah, you have oh. only You have an OF girl. I do Education, so yeah. wait, how do you? No, no, no. But you have an old right where you post. You know, new... God created sex, right? Well, yeah, hold on. marriage. Mm -hmm. But it says who? God. <laughs> but what's a marriage? Do, You're talking about you, the wait, institution. Stop, stop, guys, guys, guys. Please let me have a back and forth here. Okay, so do you think God wants you to do? Only yeah, it's a. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just asked her. Do you think God wants you to do OnlyFans? And this woman said, yes. Now, I'm glad to know that it's not just an Asian female thing because if you watched any of my channel, you know, I have two previous videos where both uh, were Asian young ladies and they were saying the same thing, but apparently it's a woman thing. And I would submit, ladies and gentlemen, it is a witchcraft thing. You know, women today practice witchcraft and don't even know it. Ministry. I'm actually teaching men how to please women. I oh. have tutorials. I have eating 
tutorials. I have. Uh, Look at the black chick. There you go, and sister. And really I'm teaching like your people. daughters doing that on a Yeah, screen. I no, you would not. My, I will teach my You would own not daughters. want your daughters to do that I and expect to find a good man. Look at the sister, though. How hard it is to not have proper education and then just okay, go but out you're gonna try to figure it out yes. that it's okay Look at well. Andrew. that's disgusting that Why is, is that? shameful it's i'm wild. sorry that you have Man shame attached to your sexuality i men love <laughs> no. a woman who's what's they a feel baptized by that it's like a life-changing experience listen to the language sure, i just want to make sure i got this clear <laughs> jesus christ that's came so and long. died for your sins so that you could teach women how to suck better that's is that right do you know what sin means can you answer my question Jesus Christ didn't need to die for my sins. I'm not a sinner. Oh my God. Spoken like a true person that's damned to spend eternity in H-E double hockey sticks. Whew. Oh my gosh. What? You oh. Look at the Demo system, man. So, so wait a second. So, um, wait, wait, wait. so what did Jesus Christ <laughs> die for? You need to be healed. Sin means you turn away no, from yourself. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Sin means you turn away from yourself, right? Do as thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Whose commandment is that? What dost thou like to live deliciously? Now, you're turning water. away from sin the best thing for you. That, that's oh, what sin God. means. That's you missed the demonic. mark. You, well, that's fine. It agree is. Agree. Agree. It is. Agree. Sin, sin, agree. sin is care. turning away from the things which are the best for you? No. No. Sin is turning away from the things that are not your truth. Would you no. actually show your parents oh. something like that? Like yeah, when my you're, parents you know what I do? Then your parents suck. I'm very suck. public. You can go into my Instagram. I'm very so public. Right. I wrote what books. I dedicated so my hey. books to my parents. So then tell Look me. at the pride. My whole life in there. I don't have secrets. If your I truth am very was to be, if, if your truth <laughs> no was wonder to be the devil killer, appealed to the woman. Look at this truth. pride. No, because be if sinning, you think about it, well, let me finish, finish the question. <laughs> if that was your truth <laughs> to be a serial killer, <laughs> your truth, why is it that turning away from that nature wouldn't be sinful by that logic? Can you explain that That's to me? That's facts. <laughs> you have, if you have to go to the most extreme example of society, that is which is the way women argue, response. by the way. You're not getting what I'm yeah, saying. All you're, all you're, all you're doing is That's obfuscating. Trippy. Answer the question. Say the question again. Okay. Yeah. So listen to it this time. So if it was your truth to be a serial killer. You would, by your logic, turning away from that truth would be sinful. Do you understand that? No, I believe the serial example, if we must go with that, that is now hurting other people. My, my sex life, life is not hurting anybody. Uh, if you consider hurting people, influencing them to be immoral and to be debaucherous and to damn their souls to hell, then you're causing a great deal of hurt, ma'am. Uh, I think it was Jesus who said, if you look upon a woman with lust, you've already committed the sin in your heart. So you, you, the very fact that you're putting out sexual content just to be viewed right there is harmful. Oh, it so now we're it's on the harm reduction. Category. I thought it was about your truth a second ago. It's not about your truth. Yeah, I'm getting confused stuff. at what I didn't know that this was going to be a religious podcast. Go ahead, Andrew. God, in God. You said you were submitted to God. Yeah, I, yeah, I am. My I'm, God I'm sorry, is not the God. I like the sister. Yes, yeah, she brought it's it up. The God that you now she didn't know it was going to be religious. Terms. It doesn't matter what terms I use. We can say something else. We can call it source energy. Does that work better for you? That we can call it word energy. Energy. Would you Witchcraft. Call it like mental gymnastics. You don't even know what's your reality because you have no foundation. You're just picking and choosing things from everywhere and trying to make it I work have for books. You. you can read my book. It would be my foundation. No, well, because you're, you don't you're, even know me. You're going yep. All we know of you is what you sat there and said. And I got to give kudos for the rest of these women, man. Look at how they challenging the BS that's coming out of the, her mouth. This gives me hope. That means that every woman is not out here practicing witchcraft. It's only a few, but they're trying to make it mainstream. We ain't really gonna have truth, the choke and a that bitch. is forever moving. There is no solid foundation. You stand for nothing. Because Go I'm ahead, an ever-evolving being. Our Stop DNA it. is a spiral that's out. evolving. 
We're always gonna be. You can evolving. grow, you can mature, exactly. but you're going the opposite way. <laughs> I'm not going. The, I was the celibate, good Christian girl. I did all this shit that you're doing yeah, now. I did that when I was 18 to 33. I spent 15 years doing this whole good but, girl but shit. You can do things, but were you? And the whole time you didn't I believe. And devoted. No, no, no. And if, if you, you would problem. read my Listen. book, okay, let me let me finish. If you were truly born again, you wouldn't be looking at me with those eyes. First of all, you would have the Holy Spirit in you, and you would I'm be maturing. Demon, I'm a demon exerciser. You would be, you would be transitioning and and going and moving towards a direction that where it's really. That's godly. your perspective. Hold on. All right, lady, it's not her perspective. You should know them by their fruits. You can believe or say you believe whatever you want. You can twist logic any way you want to, but it's the outcomes that you get and the outcomes that you cause around you and the people in your life. That's how we judge things. I did it, I did it the different way that you did. A different way. Romans 1. Therefore God also gave them up to vile impurity in the lusts of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for the lie. That's the end of the video. I hope people can see that some of these young ladies are choosing to interpret religion in the way that they want it to be interpreted. You know, and that goes for the same sex idea and the trans idea and all of this other stuff. Look, you guys in this world, it, you have free will. You can make any choice you want to, but don't make the incorrect choice. Don't make the evil choice and then try to convince everybody that they should do that. Go ahead and walk your wide path straight to the lake of fire. Now I walk my narrow path right to the bosom of God. That's what I'll do. So this witchcraft thing is very concerning and I'm seeing it a lot with these OnlyFans girls. These women that are trying to justify because they're lazy and they don't want to compete in the world and they don't want to get out there and earn they don't even want to find a man that can earn for them. They're so defiant, and that's what it is. It's the spirit of rebellion. And at the center of rebellion, you're going to find witchcraft when it comes to women. So that's my point of view. That is my perspective, and I am out.